all right guys how y'all doing so I hope obviously you can see I am NOT in my vehicle for once uh, I'm gonna do a what sold on eBay now since my business is just starting on eBay I actually have um, quite a bit less on eBay than a lot of sellers out there so uh, a lot of people are able to do these videos like once a week or uh, you know Global Voodoo does one every day uh, which is really cool but um, basically I'm gonna do my month so I started early this month with the really focusing on eBay whenever I could so um, let me make sure I can pull up my uh, okay start and we should be recording my screen hopefully hopefully we're not one second all right so I think I got my screen share figured out so I'm gonna go over like I said the stuff that I've sold since I really started focusing so it's been about this has been all of April um, so bear in mind, um, I have, should have pulled this up first, um, as I'll get into a little later, it's all a numbers game, which is why I'm doing this uh, video part. Um, right now I have active listings, 134. So I have 134 listings. sold about 20 items in the last month which is actually when I think about it, it's not really that bad um, obviously I want to get more so I can get better at it but I'm only able to list about 10 most days uh, sometimes 15 or 20 if I take a day off so I'll probably switch up back and forth between the screen but this is something that sold earlier um, I was really focusing on FBA I got eight of these. These are Prime Spin 360 degree electric rotating turntable. Um, this sold for $125 uh, and I did free shipping. Um, so uh, I also sent these in. I sent four in F FBA and then I kept uh, five. And so I just sold the first one and have gone from there. So that one I. Uh, only paid $19.99 for them, so I made $83.38 on that item itself. So at the end, I'll do what show you my spreadsheet that I did. But um, so yeah, that was a good one, $80 there. Uh, this one is The Princess Bride, which uh, I hope everyone's seen that. It's a great movie. If not, you should. I wanted to build up some inventory, so I took a bunch of VHS tapes on consignment um, and have just been listing them. So the deal with these was I'm going to list them all. I looked for comparable prices, and after they've hit their 30 days, they're going on 99 cent auction, um, and we're just going to blow them out. So I did sell one of those, 3.99. Uh, uh, the shipping cost I make 25 cents on the shipping, and then we split the cost after fees. So you can kind of see what that's going to be. That one's not on the spreadsheet because it's a consignment. So now, uh, the other one I sold was the Columbia button-up omni-sleeve shirt that's red. Uh, this one, it showing my sale is $22. That's not true. I listed it at $22. I sold it for $18. So then, after all the fees, uh, I ended up making $11.93. So that one I paid five, five, five and a quarter for, five dollars for. Um, so yeah, not a bad one there. I actually listed about six polos that are pretty similar to that. That's the only one that sold right away. Um, this is the, a iHome 6000 milliamp rechargeable pack. I bought a bulk of these. They didn't work out as well as I thought. I'm just trying to kind of get rid of them now. So this one, to give you an idea, my cost on it's $9.99. didn't sell for $19. It sold for $17.99. So then after all the fees and everything, I only made $2 on it, uh, $2.25. So 
So I'm just trying to push through those. Obviously, I'm not losing money, but they're not really worth a whole lot of time on those. This one was a surprise. I bought a box lot of stuff at an auction. Um, and the big thing in this box was a bunch of moleskin notebooks. And the moleskin notebooks, I, none of them have actually sold yet. They're really nice. They're the uh, um, graph paper style. They're the medium size, which I really like. They do have a, a small logo um, embossed in the bottom corner. And maybe that's it. I disclosed that, took a picture of it. It's really not that noticeable, but none of them sold yet. Um, so this particular item, though, there was like 24 of these in the bottom of it. Um, these are a stapler. Um, never would have thought these would sell that great. Didn't even know they were in there. I've listed it. I think I've sold two or three of them now. Um, this one did not sell for 14 uh, Let's see. Yeah, it did sell for fourteen ninety nine. I don't know why that's on there. That's that's out of order. So I actually sold two of those batteries, one for seventeen ninety nine, one for nineteen ninety nine. So I made two dollars and then three eighty six on one. Um I think I have some smaller batteries we'll get to in a minute. Um but yeah, this stapler, uh that one did come actually come up right. It did sell for fourteen ninety nine and so here on my spreadsheet that would be uh this one here and so I end up after fees making eight dollars on it so I have enough of those that honestly the three lots I bought at the auction these are selling they're gonna sell um, it's kinda funny at the prices I've been getting for them basically they will pay for the box lot um, so everything else will be profit uh, including um, probably three hundred dollars worth of uh, inventory I sent into Amazon FBA. Now this one is one that was part of that box lot as well. Uh, another box lot I bought. Uh, there was a box that had a ton of packing tape. And obviously shipping stuff out, packing tape is very useful. So there was probably 30 rolls of packing tape there. So I basically went $1.50 a roll. I paid like $40 for the lot. Underneath there was a ton of specialty tapes. Didn't even look at that. Tons and tons of specialty tapes. These are a real generic electrical tape. They're not worth a whole lot. Um, and when I look at my spreadsheet, after all the fees and everything for this, I actually lost $2 on it technically. Like I said, I probably really didn't lose $2. I probably about broke even with shipping. Uh, but because I basically took all of them, all the lots I made up out and divided it among them, I have a cost in there of two dollars, so I actually lost money because it was heavier to ship than I thought. But it is what it is. Now this one is a men's necktie, kind of cool stained glass. Um, I don't think that one sold for nineteen. I think that one sold, yeah, that one sold for fourteen. But I only paid two ninety nine for it, so after fees, I ended up paying six dollars and twenty seven cents. So not bad for super easy to list. Um, you know, I did take five pictures, did a little bit of research on it. Again, you don't know what's going to sell. This one actually sold in just a couple days after I listed it. These are the smaller version of this battery. Um, I fortunately don't have a whole bunch of these left because I'm not making much on those, if anything. Um, the small ones, yeah, that one I actually lost a dollar on. There's another one that will come up when I adjusted the price and took buy best offer off I only make 74 cents on them so they're gonna go but they're not doing anything uh, except building sales and building feedback uh, again I never know what's gonna sell so this is four rolls of painters tape blue painters tape uh, don't think it sold for 19 I think it sold for 15 uh, 16 dollars so that sold for $16. Again, uh, we've got the purchase price of $2 um, after all the fees because I did do free shipping on that. And it was going this, like as far as it could get across the country from me. Uh, I ended up only making about 3 bucks on it. But essentially, this is free inventory. I do have a cost on my sheet because of it. 
um, just because of how I broke it up. But I basically bought it for that packing tape. So either I got the packing tape free or really I made about five bucks on this. Here's another one of those batteries. Like I said, we already discussed that one, so I won't go into it. And the other small one there. So, like I said, here's another stapler. I sold that one. Those are going to be one of those weird items that I didn't know would make money, and it has. So this was a brand new backpack I found at one of my wholesale places, uh, damaged damage goods places. Uh, great, perfect shape, new with tags. Tried to do it locally here for a couple weeks. We've got quite a lot of soccer kids and stuff around. Nobody was doing anything on it. I ended up, like I said, it's not showing the correct prices. I sold that for $75. I paid $19 for it. Um, so after shipping, I did free shipping. So after fees, I made $39.77. So not, not bad at all. Uh, 40 bucks for that. I only had it for... I really wasn't pushing it. I've had it for a couple of weeks, but from when I listed it to when it sold, uh, was only about a week. So here's another video, Fatal Attraction. Again, this was a consignment, so I'll probably end up making about a dollar on it. Um, but they have a hundred and some videos. Some of them are collectors that they have a lot of watchers, a lot of views, and they're in the twenty, thirty dollar range. So we'll see what happens. So here's the third stapler. Like I said, again, those sold. They've sold pretty well. Um, I'm actually going to skip to the next one. So this one was crazy. I listed it last night, Saturday night. Of all the shirts, I didn't think this would be the one that would sell right away. So this is a Darth Gator Newport Aquarium <laughs> shirt. <laughs> and... Again, you never know what's going to sell. That's why you just you have to list. You just have to list. It's a numbers game. So I got this listed. It sold. Uh, I I put it up for, I think I put it up for $19.99. And I got an offer of $14.99. No, I put it up for $14.99, got an offer of $10. I was only into it $1.50. So uh, I charged shipping on it. And uh, actually I actually have handling built in. So after fees and everything, um, I made nine forty-five on it, and literally I've had it for a week, sitting around waiting to list it, and it just wasn't that cool. I just it was a dollar and had Star Wars and was brand new, so figured I'd give it a shot, and made ten dollars on it. Now again, not knowing what's going to sell, this is, I don't know if it's my most money made. No, it's not. Obviously, that Prime Spin and the backpack were great, but this one. Cost versus investment, this was major. So this is a 1993 Phase 10 dice game. Now, I didn't do a blind buy on this. Uh, games and puzzles, pretty much if they're unopened and it's a game or a puzzle and it's a dollar, I'm just going to buy it. Uh, this one, it was kind of cheesy looking. It actually had some damage. Um, let me see if I can show that. It was all shrink wrap, but there was a hole in the box right there. So, and it actually looks like the box may come into play. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I looked and there was some that had sold for over $20. So I threw it up, $20 plus shipping. Um, and I didn't get a best offer on it. I think they just bought it. Yeah, they just bought it. Um, they calculated out to $7 shipping. Shipping was actually only about 4 bucks. So by the time it was all said and done... I bought it for $0.99 cents and I made $19.46. So, again, it's not what I've seen so far and what uh, Jay and Ryan have talked about on Scavenger Life is it's numbers. You know, they have 4,000 items listed, so uh, they have a bunch of stuff that at $20 a piece it's going to sell. I only have 100 items listed, so, um, you know, at $20 a piece I'm not getting near the amount of sales. So I just have to keep getting that stuff listed. I do have some stuff that I have that I still need to list, and then I just need to keep working towards getting more of those things listed. So as Jay and Ryan show, and as um, you know, Mike from Global Voodoo and like Craigslist Hunter show, you know, at this rate, I'm I'm not going to be a millionaire, but I can see how if I keep doing this in my spare time, 
um, I can get to where I work less, and I do work for myself, so I can get to where I work less, um, and this will start making money. Oh, on my screenshot. So, I have this sorted weird because I put all the solds at the top. But, um, basically, every all my inventory cost, which some of this is true, some of it isn't. But, basically, it's I've spent 720 on inventory. If everything's sold for its listing price, then I would be at 3500 So, obviously, um, not all of that is going to happen because you take best off. Or, I take best. Oh. <sighs> Pardon me, it's late. I get best offers, so, but, you know, right there you kind of see what the potential is. So right now with what I've spent versus what I've sold, I'm still technically negative $430. Again, like I said, between all of this, I probably sent $400 worth of Amazon FBA stuff in, and I haven't factored that cost in. So... I do have a check coming from Amazon, a direct deposit tomorrow for $600. So, you know, it is working. You get those YouTubers that talk about you know, it's you can be a millionaire overnight and how great it is, but it's and maybe if you had a bunch of cash flow up front, a cash up front to start with, you could do that. Personally, m the way I've set this up, um, it's more of a longer build a slow build like jay and ryan have been working on so that's what i have that sold and uh i'll probably unless sales really pick up i'll probably just do one at the end of the month again and kind of go from there so if you guys like these videos um hit the thumbs up subscribe i'm just kind of showing my resale journey as i go along and try to build that business up so if you have any questions put them in the comments below and i'll get back to you Till then, keep sourcing and everybody have a great night.